Hey guys, J-Dog here. And Adopt Me. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Splatter House. I'm sure you noticed by all the blood already, but... Anyways, last time we kind of got a little carried away and uh, went over the recording time. <laughs> um, I don't know how far over the recording time we were. So, uh... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just post it as like a another two minute video <laughs> <laughs> like I did with God of War and walking up those stairs anyway let's get started random explosion of heavy metal oh it does give the, the chainsaw back yeah I don't know if that's going to show up in the last video but uh our chainsaw randomly disappeared while we were fighting you once told her you'd love her until the end of the world. It's time to prove it, Rick. The end of the world is coming. Jesus. Well, damn. Oh, skill acquired. Splatter slash. Cool. That is actually a good attack for, uh... Stuff? And things? Well, that too, but... Oh, look, the chainsaw came with us in this FMV portal thing. Guy's an expert in something called necrobiology. Maybe he likes to take his work home with him. Take a look at this one. Could be Aztec, I think. Rick? Uh-oh. Phase 5. The corpse that wouldn't die. Hmm. Ow. Nice landing. Hey, your nutsack's not fused to your chin, right? <laughs> I consider that a successful trend. Turkey. You tell Every me. Every time he says that. Carvings are Mayan. I get weird mental image. Maybe the Yucatan Peninsula. Very Thank you. good. And wrong. Yes. <laughs> Give or take a few hours and a hundred something feet. We're back where we started. West had all this shipped here and built into the foundations of the mansion. A lot of people have entered these catacombs. Only West ever returned. Generations of the disappeared of Arkham Town lie buried down here. And they ain't at rest. Excellent cinematography right there. In game too. Cause they have you just chilling there, listening to them talk, and then they ain't at rest. All of a sudden, monsters start sprouting up out of the ground like fucking weeds. Oh, someone just exploded. <laughs> but uh, like I was, what was I saying? Ooh, four worms. Um, oh, the Spider Slash. It's a very good attack for clearing out a large group of enemies in front of you. Maybe I should, like, show that off here, if I can. Well, this guy's not gonna let me. Got oh, look at that. There we go. Yeah. See, we just took out all, all of those guys at once. Well, except for him, he probably got hit. He just came up out of the ground. Well, Mario wasn't his head. Yes! Because he just came up after the attack was done. And I think he was too far or something, I don't know. No, oh, no! Okay. You can expand the range of it, can't you? I think so, actually, by upgrading it. Yes! So, yeah, remember when I showed you guys all the upgrades you can do? The ones that were still locked? Like, even at the first cell. Well, you have to unlock those as you go through the game. I don't know if I mentioned that. Well, we just unlocked the Blood Cipher. Kind of reminds me of those things from Devil May Cry that you have to hit continuously. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I don't know why that came to mind. Who's that from? Zelda. Oh, hey! Wow, look at that. We picked up a picture piece unintentionally. 
I was gonna try and smash that torch for holy shit. Fuck. <laughs> that actually scared me. Um, in case you were wondering, this is the same chainsaw that we had that randomly disappeared. <laughs> um, you can see the flesh hanging on it from the guy's arm. This is a nice weapon because you can hold down the R1 if you're playing it on the PlayStation 3. And Rick will actually run the chainsaw and just keep running with it. Pretty much shredding everything in his path. Including this fucker. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> The chainsaw is like the best weapon in the game. The most fun. Shotgun's pretty good and pretty fun too, but it doesn't let you just run through enemies to kill them. Now these guys They're terrible. Terrible. They're annoying and you can't touch them at all. Don't touch the lava. That's what they are right there, the don't touch the lava game. Pretty much. You can't hit them by punching them, or touching them at all, really. You actually have to, uh... You have to use weapons and mask attacks to actually fight them. It sucks. So we're just gonna quick get rid of the fire guys. With a little molten flesh or whatever the hell they got going on there. Looks like a bad rash, might wanna get that checked out. Oh look, it's old Stubby, with his giant meat clump of a hand. Oh, chainsaw's gone. Damn. Oh, the little... Yeah, these guys. Most enemies will die eventually after you cut their legs off, but those guys still have to take another hit. And considering your life absorption ability sort of counts as a very minor hit. It works! Oh, by the way, Adatsume and I were talking about something recently. Um, she's laughing, she's probably been waiting for me to mention this, but... We have been talking about doing something called... I don't know why I say something, because it's a popular thing right now. Uh, face cam. Oh, shit. Now, we're talking about adding face cam to our videos. Um, so those of us, or those of you who are actually fans can get to see what we look like, and it's also very popular, so it actually might help us with our, uh, might actually help our popularity a little bit. I don't know. But mostly, not good. yeah, Rick, not good. I can't wait to beat it. But more than anything, it just seems like a lot of fun. You know, um... Recently, Toby Turner is using it. Long enough to know that everything else he's tried won't bring his dead wife back. And he's crazy enough to think that the corrupted will do it if he helps them. Be crazy in the first place to make it deal with This house is a template for Okay, while the mask is talking, we're going to have to cut it there, because we don't have enough time to sit through this whole rant. We'll see you next time.